gross domestic product. Most economists say that when you reach a debt of that level, you've reached the danger zone that puts at risk your future economic growth. And this is a bipartisan plan, three Democrats, three Republicans. It builds on the plan of the Fiscal Commission, which was five Democrats, five Republicans, and one independent. So it's the only bipartisan plan that's come from anywhere. And it really does get us in a position to deal with our long-term debt problem. But they, and they are very long, too. That, that commission you talked about, Erskine Bowles and Alan Simpson, Washington Post says even that idea, now get this, by the year 2021, our debt would still be at 70% of the economy. That's, that, that, that's 10 years down the road. Uh, Nancy Pelosi says this idea is not ready for prime time. She's a Democrat. What do you say to that? Well, obviously, I disagree. Uh, look, we ha have had a chance to brief on the Senate side. We've not had a chance to brief on the House side. Uh, so I I'm not surprised that people are perhaps more skeptical there. They've not had a chance for a full review of what we've proposed. But on the Senate, we had about 50 senators at a meeting yesterday. And after they heard the details of the plan, senator after senator, Republican and Democrat, stood up and said, look, I'm in. Count me in. This is what we have to do. It is a compromise. But that's what is required here. The Democrats control the Senate. Mm. Republicans control that's the right. House. At and, the and end of that, the day, I'm, we're not going to do anything without a compromise. I apologize for the interruption. I'm short on time, as you know. But the House Republicans, especially the freshmen, members of the Tea Party caucus, how do you sell the idea of raising revenues of a trillion dollars over 10 years? Because the way we're doing it is to broaden the base, reduce the exemptions, exclusions, credits that now proliferate in the code, and actually reduce tax rates. In addition, we eliminate the alternative minimum tax, uh, which increasingly is threatening middle class taxpayers by the tens of millions in this country. In addition, the Congressional Budget Office would score this plan compared to current law as a one and a half trillion dollar tax cut. Now, th there is more to explore here. In, in three minutes' time, we cannot do it all. We're just kind of rubbing the surface right now. But, Senator, I hope to talk to you again, maybe even tomorrow. Ken Conrad. Yes, sir. Thank you for your time.